Shalom Akim. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash, Baraka Thumb, to the Akim that's laboring and doing his work in truth and sincerity, and double honor to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Um, I want to do a response video um, concerning these guys, all right, that's coming up some other kind of way, you know, and they're trying to come at Esau on a carnal level and claiming to be in the truth, you know, and, you know, as we see now, man, this truth is flourishing, you know, and you got a lot of niggas, okay, all right, that are, are, are waking up to the fact that they're Israelites, you know, and, you know, it's very easy for them to, to, to go on that carnal level, man, to be still staying in that nigga state of mind and but to know that they're Israel. You know, and um, these guys right here, all right, clearly they're being set up, you know, and it will fit right into Esau's narrative, okay? And and knowing that you have a lot of guys that will, that will follow these guys punish his ways, you see, okay? Because uh, we see it, man. We, we out there in the camp, man. You got guys that's beeping the horn, oh, oh, shalom, shalom, you know, you know, a bunch of niggas, you know, okay? So um, these guys right here are trying to come up against Esau's blessing, man, okay? All right? And we know through the scriptures, though, you can't come up against a, a, a blessing that's that's ordained by by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, okay. Being on the carnal level is not a representation of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, okay. And we also know through the scriptures that not only does Esau have a blessing, that he also has a hedge on him, okay. So now I got a couple of precepts I want to bring out, okay, and um, I'm tied all in, all right. All right, we're gonna start at um, Genesis, all right, chapter four, verse eight, okay. Now we got to go back to Cain. Okay, because these guys are, are of the of their father, the devil. Okay, all right, which is Cain. Okay, you see, all right, the lust of your father they will do, man. They are a murderer from the beginning, you know. And these guys are, are, are trying to come in a way of how what Esau taught them how to be, man. Try to handle things on a carnal level, man. When 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 it's, when you be come to your true heritage, man, you gotta be spiritual, man. You gotta cleanse your own ways, man. And the, and we already have our weapon, all right. Our weapons are wild warfare, not carnal, man. Okay, we got the sword as our weapon. Okay, all right. This man is being beat down through the spirit, man. Okay, all right. You see, all you have to do is, is read the scriptures. You see, now, uh, this is um Genesis chapter four, all right, verse uh, eight, all right. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Okay, so he not only did he lie, you know, he uh uh, uh got smart with the Lord. Okay? Alright, we already know that this man is 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 adversary to 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 uh uh this the, the nation of Israel, okay? Alright? We know that, okay? And basically he said that he's not his brother's keeper. We understand that, okay? Read it on. It says, and he said it to him, what, the, what, that's how, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now thou art cursed from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. You know, so the land is basically polluted, okay, because of Cain, all right, all right, which came into Esau uh, in the reincarnation, okay, all right. But basically, um, the earth is cursed, all right, for one, all right, because of the brother's blood. So he has to be avenged for that, first and, first and foremost, okay, all right? Now, it says, verse 12, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Okay, so we know that the earth is not uh, um, yielding its strength at this point in time, man, okay? Because we know back before that it used to take um, two men to carry a cluster of grapes, Okay, now a cluster of grapes has been diminished to where you can have a small toddler carry the grapes, okay, with one hand. Okay, so we know that the earth is cursed and the earth is against his him as far as him with his uh, pigmentation being taken away, which we're going to get into. Okay, all right, the earth is rising up against him right now. It's manifesting itself to be up against him. Okay, all right, all right, we're going to read on, right? It says, And Cain said unto him, and Cain said unto, unto Yahweh, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out from this day from the face of the earth, and from the, thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. 
and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Okay? So now that's the hedge that's on Esau. Okay? All right? Okay? We're going back to the beginning. Okay? Where Esau is coming through the spirit of Cain. Okay? So now he has this hedge on him. Okay? So anybody that comes to slay of Cain, okay, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Okay? So you're not going to take it upon yourself, man, to, to go up against Esau, man. Okay? All right? Because the hedge is on him right now. You try to touch this man, you're going to jail, man. Plain, plain and simple. You see? Okay? And the Lord put a mark upon him, man, which is when you go into the Hebrew, man, it's, it's uh, that distinguishing mark, man, which is leprosy, man. Okay? You see? All right? So this is how we could recognize uh, uh, Esau Edom, man, as a so-called white man. Okay? All right? So now, not being established that he has a hedge on, on him, Okay, which you're not gonna upset prophecy and go against him and, and, and jump the jump the light, man. Okay? The Lord said, Wait, wait ye upon me until I, I rise up to the prey. Okay? Alright? Because the, the scripture is not being fulfilled yet. Because he said his determination is to gather the nations, man. Okay? Alright? And, and bring them to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay? That 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 is in the process of being fulfilled now. It's not being fully fully implemented right now. Okay? And you still gotta wait on the Lord. Okay? You got to wait for his determination first, man. Okay? He has to set things in order, man. These guys are out of order. Okay? All right? Now, we established King's hedge, man. We're going to go into his blessing real quick, man. All right? This is, um, we're going to go to Genesis 27 chapter, okay, where, um, Jacob supplanted Esau out of his blessing, and, uh, Esau is crying like a bitch to his father Isaac if he has any one more blessing to give him. Okay, all right, so here's the consolation prize, okay, for your master Esau, okay, all right, this is um, Genesis chapter 27, verse um, 38, and Esau said unto his father, hast thou but one blessing, my father, bless me, even me also, O my father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept, okay, because, uh, Jacob basically took the blessing, okay, all right, but it was already ordained through the spirit, okay, all right, for him to have the blessing anyway, okay, so here it is, bitch ass Esau, okay, which is, which is these guys' daddy, all right, all right, crying to, to, to Isaac, all right, verse 39, and Isaac said, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live. And shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, that thou shalt break, shall break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, all right. So now he's been given dominion as far as he's been taken dominion by by the by the force of the sword. Okay, all right. He here it is. He's living in the best the fatness of the earth. Okay, you see, right. And it says, uh, right. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, all right, which is his mind, the days are coming, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob, man, okay? And he's been been, been perpetually uh, slaying us, okay, all right, from the beginning of time, okay? All right, because that's in his spirit to do so, okay, to come up against Jacob, all right? So now... You being this 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 uh, uh, carnal state of mind to where you think some guns are gonna come up against Esau and, and gonna take him out, okay? These guys are clearly set up, you know. But you got simple niggas that are gonna follow their ways and think that's the way, man, you know. But the real way is the scriptures, the scriptures, man. All right. Um, real quick, let me go to Luke. All right. All right. We got we we, we got the weapons of our warfare. What weapons our warfare, man? Is it is a sword, man? This 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 Bible. You see? Okay. Real quick. Salaki so Akin. We go to Luke. All right? Chapter 10. Alright. Verse 19. Right? Okay. Behold, I give unto you power to thread on serpents and scorpions, and over all power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
Okay, right? Notwithstanding, in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice that your names are written in heaven, man. All right? So the Lord gave us the power to, to tread upon serpents and scorpions, right? Through the, through the word, through the spirit of his mouth, man. Okay? Which is these scriptures, man. Okay? This is how we're able to do what we do week in and week out, man. Okay? And prophesy the downfall of this place, man. Okay? Can nothing come up against this right here, man. Can nobody come up and gainsay? Okay? People come up and, and try to come up with, uh, uh, and get confounded, man. Okay? All right? There's nothing, there's no weapon that's formed against thee that shall prosper, man. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee, uh, um, thou shalt condemn, man. Okay? All right? All right? We get the we we are the the, the, the spirit of the Lord is is, uh, is is he's sanctified man through his prophets man, okay, all right. Not picking up no gun like this nigga here man, which is set up clearly, okay, you know, right. Let me get on real quick. Let me get Second Corinthians, all right. Let's back that up, chapter ten. All right, verse one. Start at one. Now I Paul myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Hamashiach, who in presence am base among you, but being absent and bold towards you. Okay, so Paul, all right, going to the church of Corinth, all right, he was humble and gentle, as a humble and gentle person in front of them in person, all right, concerning the church of Corinth, though, man. But in absence, though, he was bold towards them writing his letters. Okay, you see, right? It says, but I beseech you. That I may not be bold when I am present with 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 that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some, which think of think which which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Okay, so he's saying that I'm I'm not when I'm in your presence though I'm not not bold. You know, okay, not I am I am present with the confidence wherewith you think that that. To be bold, some which think to be a carnal, you know, okay. So they know that he wasn't coming um, as a carnal man, but people that's not in the spirit would, would think so. You see, right? For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, man. Okay, we don't war after the flesh, man. In this thing of ours, man. You see, right? Verse four: For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through through the Most High to pulling down of strongholds, man. You know, and us reading these scriptures and us putting up three videos a week and doing side lessons and doing uh, um, 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 live stream, man. Okay, sit downs. Okay, all right. We're pulling down these strongholds, man, because we're exposing these lies of this place, man. Okay, all right. The lies is what's tearing this place down, man. Not no gun. You see, right? It says, um, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high. And bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai, man. You see? You know? And we're casting out these imaginations, man. You know? Everybody got their own, think they got their own understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay? And we're confounding them, man. Okay? Through the spirit, man. This is the reason why uh, uh, you got these, these, these uh, uh, niggas woke up, man. He says, many are called, but few are chosen, man. Okay? So now we got to we gotta weed through, through the, um, um, the bad ones, man, and, and collect the good fish, man. You see? Right? So it says, basically... You know, you know, that's it on that, man. You know, you know, but we bring into a captivity every thought to the obedience of, of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. And it's the knowledge of this truth, man. Okay. All right. These words is what's bringing this place down, man. Us ramp, ramping up, doing three, three videos a week, man. All right. This place, the, the prophecies are rolling even faster, man. Okay. All right. We don't have to lay a finger, man. Okay. This place is, Esau is destroying himself, man. You ain't gonna take. You ain't gonna pick up no no gun that Esau created, okay, to come up against a blessing that he has, and he and he also has a hedge on him, man. So so you 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 in a lose lose situation, man. Okay, all right. Plus you're part of the two thirds. You see, all right. Last scripture I want to get, okay, all right. Is um. Let's get Ephesians. All right, six. Um, and ten. All right, all right. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of His might. 
put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. Okay, and the whole armor, man, the guys, the, the elect, man, are going to put on that whole armor, man. Okay, this is one of the wiles of the devil right here, man. Because you got some simple, to, simple niggas that will follow these guys, man. Okay, and thinking that's the way to go, man. Okay, all right, we know that the whole armor, man, is, 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 is that spiritual discernment, man. You know, you know, and being in the scriptures, man, and knowing that the scriptures is what's going to bring this place down, man. All right, all right. It's going to consume it through the, through, through, through the spirit of his mouth, man. You know? All right? It's because it's not our words that we're speaking, man. It's, it, 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 it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's words, man. You know? Right? It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of, dark, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Okay? So we know that, that the people that deal in this type of realm set these guys up here, man. Okay, all right. This is some. This is um one of the wiles of the devil right here, man. Okay, all right. We got bigger fish to fry, man. Okay, we're we're we're, we're wrestling against these these uh, uh uh principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world, man. You know, and that spiritual wickedness, man, on on, on a high level, man. Okay, those demons. You see, right? It says, "Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand." In the evil day and having done all to stand, man. And we're trying to do everything in all to us to be able to stand in that day, man. Okay? We're doing um through the spirit what the spirit is or has ordained us to do, man. It's do these these shows, man. Go out there on the highways and hedges, man, week in and week out, man. Do a, um them um, camp videos, man. Do a, a sit downs, man. We're doing all we can do and stand and, and walking in, in, in righteousness, man. You know, carrying ourselves to be who we are, all right, in this truth on a daily basis, man. Not just a weekend thing, man. Okay? All right. You see, right? This guy's not doing all he can do to stand, man. Okay? All right? He's going to be destroyed, man. You see? Lest he repent. All right? Read it on. Verse 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, man. All right? All right? And that's following that, that, the true doctrine, man. All right? We're supposed to follow, man. Okay, having our loins squirted, girded up, man, and ready to be the, a defender of the gospel, man. You see, okay, you know, and that breastplate of righteousness, man, is, is, is carrying yourself in righteousness in this wicked uh, uh, kingdom, man, you know, which is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Okay, all right, this guy's seeking death right here, man. Look at him, man. He's seeking death, man. Okay, all right, verse 15, in your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, man. Okay, all right, because this is the good news right here, man. And we got our foots fairly planted down, man. Ten toes down, man. In this truth, man. Okay, all right. Ten toes down for for the for, for for bringing out the good tidings, man. All right, to the elect, man. Okay, all right. And we're standing stiffly for this word, man. You see, right? Verse sixteen. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, man. Okay, this guy ain't got no faith, man. Pick up no no damn gun, man. All right, there ain't any faith, man. All right, where does it have faith about talking about the, the men, the men that did this work before picking up picking up some type of weapon, man? Okay, all right, all right. Unless uh, us going into battle, okay, when we and it was in our, in our rulership, okay. But now the prophets, okay, coming back, okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, these scriptures is our sword, man. You see, right? It says. You know, and, and this is quenching all the fiery darts of the wicked, man. All right? Because this right here, we're going to quench this right here, man. This is a fire, fiery dart of the wicked right here, man. Okay? This this guy going in the, in the way of Cain, man. Okay? And all you, you jakes out there, man, trying to go in the way of Cain, man, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? You see? Right? Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation in the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of the Most High, man. And this is our sword, man. This Bible. This Bible's our weapon, man. Okay? All we got to do is go on Twitter and read it, man. Okay? All right? And there's a man that, that are set up to do that, man. Okay? This guy clearly is not set up to do that, man. You see? Right? It says, uh, where we at? Right? Right? Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching Thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, man. And the saints are gonna gonna uh, are gonna pray without ceasing, man. We're gonna pray, man. We're gonna pray to get out of this uh, condition that we're in, man. We're gonna pray and fast, man. We need be, man. You see? All right. You think this guy's doing that? You know? Right? Verse nineteen. 
and for and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may may open my mouth boldly and make known the mystery of the gospel, man. And that's the point right there that we do, man. Okay? All right? Utterance is given to us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man, to go out there, man, and make known the gospel, man, and bring the elect, man. Okay? All right? You see? Right? Verse 20, which is the last, this last verse right here. I'm going to finish it up. For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, man. And we commanded to speak boldly, man. Okay? All right? Because we are bastard in bonds, man. Okay? All right? We're bonded to this word, man. Okay? We got to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. I'll pick up a fucking gun, man. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakadash, Rukakadam to the Akim that's laboring and doing the work in truth and sincerity. And double honor to our apostles and elders of the great millstone, man. And death to the two thirds, man.